So here we go, into a little siege battle on Border Fort. We have been quite behind on videos lately, but just really struggling to get motivation enough to get into game. Started off the season quite strong really, but yeah, been struggling a bit over the past sort of week or so. But anyway, tier, tier 5 is actually now out, so it would be rude to not at least dive into at least a couple of battles. Uh, I've actually started the intro on this video about three times already because literally nothing has happened. This is very much a map, you just have to wait for the siege towers to get in. Anyway, I've got a couple of enemy heroes taking a bit of a peek over there on the right. Uh, that is a very brave pike player. I would be a bit conscious, particularly if you're going to get knocked down like that. Um, so we've got four enemy heroes down there. They've actually not got all that much stuff. I don't know, well, to be fair, it is, we could actually have a go here, to be fair, just run them out with our units. Could be careful of trebs, I suppose, but actually, shouldn't be too bad. Can we lock down the glaive? Boop. No, oh, I didn't quite get to get the uh, didn't quite get to get the finishing kill, but there we go. Um, well, I'm not going to go chasing the map miles away. This is a map you're kind of getting a little bit carried away, and it's pretty hard to get yourself back out once you hit that enemy siege tower if you're not careful. I just see on the mini map someone has come through with camels. Okay, colour me intrigued. Let's go and have a look. Um, I should have thought shield maidens would hold up to camels pretty well. I honestly don't know. So stick them into sword mode. Uh, yes. Yes is clearly the answer to that. They cut through camels absolutely brutally. <laughs> I, was slightly, I don't think I've actually faced camels specifically with uh, shield maidens before. There we go. Come on, camel. Die. There we go. 20 kills. Um, well, we could heal up, but I don't think it's really worth it for that. Uh, stick them back onto spear mode so we can do the cover commander switch again. Looks like the enemy is actually making a bit of a harder push up here now. Um, oh, those trebs are a little bit damaging. Watch out for that. Jesus. So they've got a bit of a foothold on the other side. I kind of want to go in, but I don't really want to end up pushing myself across the entrance to that doorway, if that makes sense. I'd, I'd rather fight, you know, just on one front. But I think probably our time is now. Try and get that pike, which we did very nicely. There we go. Try and just keep people locked down with Warlord's Greeting. This is just going to be an absolute grind now. There's no way we can get out of this fight without the whole unit dying. Um, we're actually doing pretty well, to be fair. It's taking us up to almost 50 kills now. Got the imp shields are pushing in. I just like the fact that we're starting to push forward so that we can be attacked both frontally and on the side by that side entrance. I think we're running out of block on our shield maidens. Oh, as I get myself killed by those Romans. They, they stepped into me and absolutely <laughs> obliterated me with their shields. Darn. Okay. Well, it wasn't a too bad a start. We actually did quite a lot of kills there. That was a pretty good old grind. I think right at the end we saw that the shield maidens, I think they essentially just ran out of block because they were just in combat too long. Because um, they started to diminish a little bit. But anyway, we've held that side, which is good. We can respawn. I'm probably going to just grab... I think I was just going to go for the Mace Sergeants. Because if we go Ma down now, then I've basically got nothing for the final point. Which it almost inevitably will come to that, because it does normally seem to on this map. Um, we'll just throw you the one cover commander. Although, knowing these Mace Sergeants, that means they'll attack someone from 500 metres away. They just have the most ridiculous cover commander, like, aggro range. <laughs> they see someone, like, on a wall on the other side of the map, and they're like, Right, we're off! Come on, lads! Let's just go and get them! And they just run off in the opposite direction. Um, oh, okay, they're already actually pushing through uh, with some of the uh, the tier 4 new unit as well. Uh, this is going to be a hard one, actually. I don't think we're going to hold this corner, the amount of stuff there is there. We can... Ah, uh, what to do? Do we charge? But it's just suicide. Does it gain us anything by charging? Oh, but we're going to lose A. Oh, screw it. This is a bad idea. This is not going to go very well. Yeah, what have we what have we realistically achieved there? I'm now just fighting on a staircase. They're still going to get A. And we've basically just lost our unit. I knew it was a bad idea. Not sure why I did it. Oh well, oh well. We shall fight on nonetheless. Um, I'm very much enjoying playing. I'm now playing Glaive Heavy Armour, if anyone didn't know. It's kind of enjoying it quite a lot more. It's nice to be a little bit tanky again. I'm still got a full strength build, but... I am quite enjoying the extra tankiness that comes with being a heavy armor glaive. Um, okay, so the obvious next question is, do we hold the supply point or do we roll back to base point? I think we'll go for a supply point hold. 
Uh, we've not actually lost too many friendly heroes, so we should be able to get a decent amount of stuff out. Let's grab these Madal, particularly if they're going to make a push in with any Cav. Looks like they're actually setting up pretty quickly to come in, though. Ooh, it could be... Oh, well, we're trapped now. We either win or we die. Oh, let's just push in Embrace. Well, to be fair, there's not actually that much stuff here, so let's just go in with our three ability. Yeah, there's actually not a lot there at all. <laughs> um, okay, and pull back and regroup. Oh, is that friendly Cav gone in? Uh, oh, okay. We'll make a push then. We can actually wipe this lot here, I think. The friendly uh, Yan Yudao cavalry just seem to absolutely obliterate everything. So let's just push in. Uh, can we have Mr. Dadachi? Ah, oh, just an assist. Just an assist. And there they go, up the stairs. Okay, nice. Well, we're not going to get into a bit of a pursuit with these Madao because they are slow. <laughs> it's not one to be uh, chasing around. Wow, is that war rockets up there? Okay, someone is uh, spending some money on this siege battle. Um, I wonder if they can hit the supply point from there, but they probably can. I was just going to send the Madao back in to heal up, but to be honest, I think they're more likely to get shot by those war rockets if we do. Oh god, and they've got some coconut throwers. Lovely. What could, what could possibly go wrong here? Well, I was just going to try and keep the unit on the move then, to try and reduce the chance of us getting uh, hit by the coconuts. I'm getting slightly engaged at the back. If I send them over to supply point, are they going to be out of range of those coconuts? Hopefully. Just get them on there quickly and then drag them straight back off. Although, hey, cheeky bollocks kill. Nice. Um, yeah, let's just get them a little bit of healing. I think those coconuts are just closer to the stairs, so they can't quite hit us on that supply. And thankfully, that war rockets, I don't know, it doesn't seem to be really hitting a lot of us. Uh, let's throw ourselves behind this that little building there. I'm not sure, to be honest, if that actually would protect us against those coconut throwers. I suspect they've just ran out of ammo. That's doing more to protect us than anything else. Uh, a couple of enemies having a bit of a look around the gateway. What have we got? Oh, some guns there, so I don't want to go too close. Not if I value uh, my poor horse's life. Um, okay, cab coming in. Uh, yeah, okay, this is potentially a little bit sketchy. We've got quite a bit of stuff in the gateway, though, so I don't think they're going to get through there. Although, was that a musket bomb? Yeah, I think it was. I'm not sure I should necessarily be going this way, though, to be honest. Oh, God, cataphracts! <laughs> <laughs> that was a that was a bit of a narrow miss. That would have been a complete flattening. They are actually starting to push through and back towards base, though. Uh, oh, are we getting hit by flames now? I'm going to pull the Madao out and had, head back to base, I think, because they are starting to push in round now. I'm conscious they've got Cav coming in. Is he going to go straight for me? Okay, let's brace into it. This is going to hurt. I'm done a bit early. Oh, God. I forget how damaging these Yanidao are, even down to Madao. I'm going to try and control this. Oh, and I've got a chain dart on me. God damn it. Well, we helped kill that chain dart. We did the bulk of the damage there, but oh, my abilities are too much on cooldown. Can we get out of here? No, we cannot. Ah, oh, that is kind of annoying, because that means our Madao are now dead, so we're going to have to be defending the final point just hero only. Maybe we should have just stayed on that supply point. But I didn't want to be the team that just sort of sits there, camps on the supply point, and ends up losing the main base point, because it certainly can happen on this map. Uh, but those Yan Yadao cavalry is such a pain, really defeating Madao. Uh, but nothing we can do. We can just respawn with a hero and do what we can. Um, still 20 seconds. Are most of the team pulling back? I think that supply point is... Yeah, that supply point is, is definitely lost. Run, Polax, run! Fight on! He's got his Imperial Shields. Uh, it's not going to help him, though. He's uh, done for. And there he goes. <laughs> his dead body hits the floor. Uh, well, let's go hero only. Let's get back over to the friendly base point. I think we're going to probably have a fairly hard time holding this one here. Um, yeah. Do what we can. We can do what we can. Let's get back over, see if we can. We could always set up some artillery to try and shoot through, but um, it's always a pretty hard point to defend this one. Particularly as a lot of the team died on that supply point, and a lot of us haven't respawned yet. I mean, I'm here without even any units, but I've got a bit of stuff kicking around base point. And they don't seem to have actually rushed us super, super quickly. Look, because they're only just starting to come around now. So there is a chance that we may actually get time to set up here on base point before it kicks off too much. 
Yeah, here they are, starting to come through. Come on. Just want to fight them now. It's the problem with being a melee hero. It's just like in these situations, it's just like, ah, can't do anything. Just have to sit and wait while the, uh, while the bows plink at each other. You could build a Hawatcha, I suppose. But I'm just too tight to bother the cost of placing one. <laughs> okay, well now they're starting to build up a little bit more. There's actually a couple of them going around the back way. I bet they've got Cav. I bet there's either Cataphrax or Yanyadao coming. Uh, Cataphrax. Oh. It's not a full stack of them. Um, and they are just about to charge some some peasants. I don't even got that much health on them, to be honest. Okay, that was probably one of the least effective cataphract charges I've ever seen. Uh, but the Onimusha look a little bit more effective. Let's just terrorise this short bow if we can. Doink. And... Doop. And doop. Oh, I got my, knocked off my horse. Oh, and I missed my warlord's greeting. Okay, let's just get out of there. There's a lot of enemy stuff there. Ah, do you mind? Unhand me. Get off. <laughs> right. Let's get back to base point. They're actually pushing base pretty hard, to be honest. Uh, just to cut through the uh, random enemy units. We're best fighting with our own sort of block because, you know, we're only just a hero only. Uh, Synchronous, this is going to be a rearguard action. We can use our, um, our damage buff to try and keep our team slightly higher on the damage front. But really, we're going to try and focus down enemy heroes. When you're hero only, particularly as a glaive like this, I think that's the most effective thing you can do, particularly on a point defense. Try and just eliminate the enemy heroes. You're not going to be able to take out that many units, or certainly not enough to deal with it. But if you can start to chop down a few of the enemy heroes, you can sometimes stand a reasonable chance. But it's certainly going to be a game where we are very much on the defensive on this one. This is going to be a pretty hard one to win. Tagrat's got a full trem to the face. Right, pin down that glaive. Didn't quite get the kill, but he's dead. And what have we got? Um, overzealous Nadachi. And he's down as well. You see what I mean there? Pushing into hard. That's two enemy heroes dead, really, that didn't need to. Ah, oh, I missed my Warlord's greeting. That's annoying. Let's just try and get some damage on this Maul. Okay, he's dead as well. So what, we've got three, four enemy heroes in front of us. We need to try and... One of them can overextend again. Uh, that Polax has got the Chain Dart down. Try and pin him down as well. Pull through, get the Shield Break out, and he's dead. Uh, another Nadachi. Try and focus him down on the left. You can see, hopefully, what I'm trying to do. Just trying to focus the enemy heroes. Uh, there is certainly a few of them coming in now. And our shields are starting to run out of numbers. Oh, it doesn't help when I keep missing my Warlord's greetings. Uh, trying to get enough damage on that Polax that he's got to back out the fight at least. But we just don't have any units left. I'm now just basically stuck finding Stalwarts. And there's a Jewel Blade there somewhere. There's the Jewel Blade. Try and get the damage on him. Ah, but it's too little too late. I think we fought a pretty valiant final rearguard action there. Shows how effective essentially shields can be. Those, that little stack of imp shields did so much for that final defense, just providing that like core of units that heroes can hide in to allow me to hop out, you know, pin an enemy hero down, get the kill or get the assist, and then fall back to the safety of those shields. That's why shields are such a key unit. I'd actually really like to do a video on some imp shields because they are in a really good place at the moment. But I think, unfortunately, <laughs> that guy got a full pole axe to the face. Unfortunately, it is going to be a defeat. But we gave it a good run. It was a good effort. I'm not sure we got a particularly large amount of kills or hero kills, but it was a fun game nonetheless. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, do let me know what you think in the comments down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel for an occasional weekly, possibly, Conqueror's Blade video. Thanks for watching. See you all on the next one.